And now for our last speaker of the day, Bob Ash. Uh, some of you who are in the, the other session, um, the very last session, have already heard him. But for those of you that were over on this side of the room, a quick introduction. Um, Bob founded his company, Life Lessons, in 1995. Uh, he does teaching and seminars on leadership and uh, team building and a lot of other subjects. Um, He's, he's quite diverse. If you look at his, um, his bio, he's worked in public education. He was a janitor, a teacher, a principal, and a superintendent. Um, he also played a few years of professional baseball, which I, is great. Um, and if you also look at where the organizations he's worked with, they run the gamut from schools to chamber of commerce, funeral directors, credit unions, banks, hospitals, law enforcement, Quite a diverse background. I think you'll enjoy him very much. Bob Ash. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. Well, it's, wow, you are really a ways over there. Can you see me? Good. Thank you for waving. Thank you for clapping before I start. It's really kind of cool when people do that. Um, Sharon and Jim, boy, I haven't seen them forever. That was really good to see them today because I started doing this a long time ago with you, this group as well. We're going to talk about leadership and teamwork today. We're going to use a little bit different approach. We're going to use the buffalo and geese as kind of a contrast and look at how they do things and how we can translate actually and learn that somewhat from human beings uh, and apply it to human beings. Before that, I always start out every presentation I have since 1995 with the same word. Uh, no matter what or no matter who the group is, I always start out with the word perception. Because it's, a, to me, the most important world that we deal with every day. It's just how we shape our lives, how we choose to look at things, how we see things, how we see people. Today we're going to talk about leadership and teamwork. But it's all about the perception we have of that. Um, I say this all the time because it's true, is that the reason I say that perception is important because we tend to see what we want to see. And so what I'll share with you is two examples of perception, one of which I shared with my daughter uh, two or three days ago. We like to go out to eat when I'm with her, and we go to different places. I honestly have tried everything that she's taken me to, and I try very hard not to ask what it is before we eat. Because I know once you decide what it is, then sometimes it limits your eating. True? But I shared this with her after I tried some things last week. A quote that I heard from a guy named Stu Robertshaw. And he said, just always remember this. What is sushi in one restaurant is bait in another. <laughs> Tells you what kind of meal we had. The other one is from a four-year-old named Kristen Kimball. And Kristen, his, her perception, I'm going to have to think about this perception in a while because she challenged me. She didn't challenge me. She went to church for the first time in a Lutheran church with her mom, Sue. And uh, this Lutheran church happened to have a pastor who wears a cleric's collar, right, the white collar. So she goes. She's never been in church before. Seemingly had a good time with her mom. The next day, the pastor of that church decided to visit people who had visited the church on Sunday. So he stopped by Kristen's house to see her and her mom, and he brought his wife with him. So the two of them knocked on the front door, and little Kristen came to the door, and she saw him and smiled and waved. And she went, oh, wow, I know who you are. Just a minute, let me go get my mom. And as she turned around and to get her mom, the pastor and his wife heard her say this, Mom, Mom, come quick, you'll never guess who's here. It's God, and he brought his girlfriend. <laughs> 